Hi, welcome to Taste This TV. I'm Chef Joseph Rivera. You know, we got a great show today and a very special guest all the way from Texas. You guessed it. Some people call her the olive oil lady, but it is actually just Chef Michelle. How are you? I'm Good doing to see great. You. Thanks. So, I mean, you got some incredible product here and, we you do. know, we always like to put people on and introduce incredible products and you definitely, from your oils and vinegars straight down, the, the product is just hands down the best. Now, when you talk about infused oils and stuff like that, I'm sure it gets a little intricate, right? I mean, you don't want to give away any secrets, but let's back a couple of steps and, and talk to us like how you got started. I, mean, I know you're a chef in the industry, but how did you stumble across kind of doing this? Well, the shop that, uh, that uh, I have in Dallas has been there for about four years. Mm -hmm. And um, and that's I a re retail spot. Retail, right? retail yeah. shop, right. And uh, I was invited to come in and do product demonstrations for the owner there. Yeah. Uh, so we partnered um, and did some charity events together. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and then that grew into just me being her demo chef. Nice. And uh, when it came time for her to move on and say she sold the business, um, she contacted me and said, hey, are you interested? And at that point, I was like, yes, this is, a, this is where I want to be. This is the right fit. So That's like a chef's dream, right? Like everybody uses olive oil. So it's like, it's like saying, hey, did you want to open up a knife store? Now, so, so the infusing of the olive oils, was that always there or you kind of put your culinary expertise into it? Now, always there. Uh, the product uh, is sourced. The olive oil comes from all over the world. Mm -hmm. uh, it comes in uh, through our vendor in California. And uh, they bring those that extra virgin, high quality, what they call ultra premium. It's an mm. ultra premium uh, product, um, which means that it's tightly controlled chemically. It is truly the best uh, product on the market no kidding. from an all-in-all -all standpoint. So they bring this these products in, uh, and then they do all the infusions in controlled um, containers there. Wow. So we have, um, in total, about 50 different flavors of infused oils and vinegars. Wow. Well, some of these incredible flavors are just in front of us here, but there's plenty more that you can look at on the website, infusedoilsandvinegars.com, correct? Yes. And from that point, people can actually purchase the product, mm -hmm. go right to the consumer. So um, I encourage everybody to take a look at that. But let's, let's taste... Uh, some oil here. I've been tasting all morning, but hey, you know, you can never stop tasting this stuff. <laughs> all right, so this one is uh, the infused olive oil, right? This is yep. the dill? This is the dill. Right. That's right. This is the one of the newer ones that we're carrying in the shop. We just brought it in. Um, people are loving it, so uh, it's got a real intense mm. um, flavor of dill. Interesting. Why don't we uh, dive in here? Right. Now, is there a right or wrong way of having an olive oil tasting. Mm. You're not supposed to use bread. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and, you know, and, and everyone I've ever been to, they've used bread. <laughs> no, you take that like a shot with that olive oil so that it hits the back of your throat. And you're tasting this, you, you taste that uh, bitterness mm. in the back of your mm. throat. Bitter the, more, the bitter the olive oil, that, that peppery. That is very good. Prepare your flavor in the back that hits the back of your throat. Wow. That means healthy olive oil. Yeah, right. And sometimes it goes to the nose, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So this one, you can taste the, the dill on the front wow. and the finish, the dill. Um, but that first taste that you get in the back of your throat. That, that was pepper. incredible. Mm -hmm. So this was great. Dill is uh, hands down a winner. All right. Next is... Tuscan herb. Yeah, this is a good one. Yes, this is uh, by far our best seller. Mm. People love this. You can use this product to saute anything in a, it makes mm. a great marinade, and it wow. also has a lot of flavor for, um, for salad dressings. Wow. That's incredible. Italy in a bottle. It really is, and you know, I infuse olive oil, so I know what they're supposed to taste like, which mm -hmm. is why I'm surprised that this tastes just as good, if not more potent than the real thing. Yeah, right. Yeah, it, it, it does, it, uh, and a lot, of, a lot of people do um, infuse their own, but then you have a variation in your taste, because mm. you know, depending on the, the potency of the herbs that you're yeah. using, the freshness of the herbs that you're using. So this product, you're guaranteed when you open it, you know what you're gonna get. It's very consistent. Uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful bottle bottle. Well, I'll be honest with you, after trying yours, I wouldn't even go through the trouble of doing mine again. That's <laughs> for <so> sure. <laughs> All right, this one is, uh, this one is extra virgin. This is uh, non-infused, so this is a, um, 
a medium um, intensity olive oil. It's got uh, um, polyphenol count of about uh, 300, uh, mm. which, uh, which gives it some peppery taste. Yeah, I taste this that. This one comes from um, olives in uh, Portugal. Mm. Very nice. Is that, is that what this is here? Yes. Chaquita. Very nice. Very nice flavor. This would Pepper. go good on bread. Pepper. Right? Mm -hmm. Definitely. Yes. Well, all of them are good on bread, but if you really right. want to taste, right. taste that olive oil right. and let that, that, uh, that, that intense flavor get, get in, your, um, in your taste buds, no bread. Okay, this is the lemon, one of my favorite. In fact, we just did this on a salmon dish before you came here. Incredible stuff. See, yeah. it's, it's so good because what you taste is the lemon zest. Uh, yes. You know, it's, it's not like you have that uh, acidic taste to it, but it's so fresh, right? It, it tastes like a very, it almost tastes like I put it on the microplane, threw it in there. This product is uh, made a little bit differently. So this one is a fused product. Um, so what they're doing, instead of infusing the lemon, the fresh lemon with the extra virgin olive oil, they are actually crushing mm -hmm. and the lemons at the same at time. At the same time. At the same time. Wow. So the process is controlled from a uh, harvest standpoint. You have to have, you know, both coming from the field at the same time. Mm -hmm. They put it in the crush at the same time and then, then it, so the flavor that you're getting from this lemon olive oil is super intense. It is intense. Now, what is your, what would you say, I mean, that's like saying, you know, which kid do you love the most, but do you like olive oils over vinegars? I mean, there's so much more creativity you can do with vinegars, right? Isn't that like, that's like endless. Yes, and, and we do have more flavors available with vinegars. We have both uh, dark vinegars and, um, and white vinegars, both made the same way from a balsamic standpoint. This one is your uh, reserve, your sherry vinegar. Mm. Um, so, you know, do I like vinegars more than olive oils? They're used for different things. Yeah, you know? totally. For different things. That's a nice... That is really smooth. It is. It is. And, you know, sherry, sherry vinegar is a little hard to, to find sometimes. Mm. You know, the recipes call for sherry vinegar. People say, Most sherry vinegars don't taste like that. No. That's, <laughs> right? It's a I very mean, nice product. Very, you know, when, when you think of sherry vinegar, you think of like, you know, red looking thing in a bottle, very acidic. This has really got flavor to it. This is good. I think we tried this one before. And then the Black Mission Fig, which That's is which favorite. is a winner. That's almost like a reduction, right? I mean, you got that. It's thick. The viscosity is pretty uh, is is pretty heavy. Um, that is my favorite balsamic. I use it for marinating meats. I use it for roasting vegetables, potatoes. Mm. Fabulous flavor. Sweet. Yeah, that is good. When people think vinegar. They think. Astringent. Mm. No. When you taste these products, if there's a sweetness to them, uh, no added sugars, wow. uh, no added coloring, no flavor. These vinegars have not and pasteurized. How, how long is this aged for? About that one will stay on your shelf for a long time. Long time. This one has been aged for um, 18 years. No kidding. The balsamic that's in there. Wow. Um, and used and and infused with the with the fig. Again, they haven't been pasteurized. So um, if you're looking for something healthy, so you've got the probiotics still in there, the mother's still, nice. still uh, happening, and um, real, a real good addition to your healthy eating diet. Excellent. Well, this is, uh, is quite an education. Again, what's that website again? It is infusedoilsandvinegars.com. Okay, great. We're going to get started on some cooking up next. A couple of Wellingtons, some pastas, but hey, we're going to create as we go along. So don't go anywhere. Taste this. All right, so now we're gonna get started on cooking. So um, we're gonna be doing like two versions of Wellingtons. We should probably do those first because they take the longest to cook. But uh, talk to me about what you like to cook with, with, with your stuff. One of my favorite things to do is just, you know, get your flavor in the, your, your marinades. 
So, you know, you've got, I've got espresso. I can marinate uh, beef in espresso. I've marinated fish in the coconut. Awesome really? coconut, yes. Um, I've got a great Sicilian lemon that, uh, that makes, a, makes a, a fabulous shrimp scampi. Oh, nice. And uh, so. Now, now how is, uh, you know, because you're from Texas, how is that sort of uh, smoky kind of barbecue influence? To, does, did that take on a role with your cooking at all? Or? Well, we have chipotle. There's a chipotle, yeah. um, uh, you know, which is a smoked jalapeno. That's one of the best flavors that we have, in, especially going into the summer months in Texas. Wow. So we've got chipotle olive oil. We couple that with um, peach vinegar. And, um, and you've, got, you've got Texas barbecue ready to happen. Te good old Texas barbecue. That's right. Now, your training, um, in a traditional setting or, you know, just school of hard knocks? Uh, no, no. I, um, after a 20-year uh, career in corporate America, I uh, gave that all up and uh, decided to go do something that I love. So um, I am classically trained through the Art Institute of Technology in Dallas, Texas, so an international culinary degree. You know, graduated there um, 2011, did a little bit of catering, uh, worked in the, uh, in the in, uh, nonprofit industry ah. for a little bit. Uh, and then, and then now, and now you're here. Now I'm here. That's it. Now, how, how much, uh, what do you think is going to happen in the future with the product? You know, we're just hoping to introduce this product to as many people as possible. This product, you don't have to be a great chef to use it. Mm -hmm. Anybody, you know, great chefs. It actually chefs, might make you a great chef, right? Great, they start tasting great, the food. <laughs> that's right. Great, great chefs love it because they can be creative. But novices use it and they're amazed at what happens to their food by just the simple addition of you know, these, these awesome flavors. You know, I've always said that too. It's like, you know, oh, chefs always take the credit for stuff, but a lot of times it's about what the products they're using too, yeah. you know? This is a farmstead rope cheese. This stuff is amazing. Who does all the creations and stuff like that? Like the the, uh, the food creations recipe. Some of the recipes come from um, our vendor, um, and so you know they're tested by uh, test kitchens in California. Okay. Um, but then I do product demonstrations uh, on a monthly basis, and we're always creating new things with the, with the product. Very nice. Very nice. Now, as far as like uh, allergies, maybe we should talk about that a little bit too because I get a lot from viewers, is it peanut free, is it peanut oil in there? What allergies do we need to stay away from? Well, it depends on which uh, product you actually are using, but um, all the products are all natural plant-based products. Mm -hmm. So uh, they're all considered kosher. Oh, are you? They, they are considered kosher. Um, they come in uh, into our shop and we bottle individually in the shop. All so right. All plant-based, um, all organic, uh, organic-based also. And um, we have an interesting one. We have a butter flavor, which we really? sell a lot to. Butter uh, flavor like, really? Butter flavor olive oil, yes. and Because um, that's like such an argument. People are like, I use olive oil over butter and the butter people I use butter over olive oil. Yes. I, go, I go to Wisconsin a lot, and uh, when I go to the dairy farms, they say, you know, we're watching your show and you're promoting too much olive oil. You know, what about us farmers with the butter? I said, listen, I said, pound for pound, what's healthier for you? You know, I mean, come on. And I'm, I'm a huge, I love them all, but, you know, I just, dairy is a real rough subject these days, you know? It, it, I mean, it is, it is. So, and we have a huge community that, uh, that is you know, interested in eating vegan, so no dairy at all. So right. We have a lot of customers that come in and specifically for our butter flavor because they're missing that that richness of the butter flavor, that right. creaminess of the butter flavor. Um, and, um, and so we've got a plant-based butter olive oil. You know, a plant-based diet is something that, you know, I've always recommended. I always push people between doctors that have been on this show, nutritionists and stuff like that. They know that plant-based is, is really the way to go. But, you know, you, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make them drink. But eventually, you know, I think that, um, oils and stuff like that is really what nature intended us to have anyway. 
Now, going down to the smaller bottles, I know we didn't bring that up earlier. Uh, that seems like a really cool gift pack. It is. We sell a lot of these as gift packs. We sell four packs and six packs of this size. It's 60 milliliter. Mm. Um, so, you know, you can get a real good marinade one time. You can taste this. You can kind of experiment with it. Um, now, could they just get the one or they should get the four? Could uh, they get 30? A little. There, there's a little price break if you buy multiple in, in our little gift okay. pack. But if you're interested in just trying different different flavors, don't know quite how that's gonna, um, which one's gonna be your favorite, you can buy as many as you'd like on this size here. Now, is there instructions on a tasting this? Like, let's say you get another guy that <laughs> that brings a big thing of bread here and says, you know, let's have an olive taste. It. Like, do you have a special spoon or something? That no, we have little. Our whole uh, shop is a tasting room. Okay. So everything, every product that we sell is open for tasting. Um, we have little tester bottles that are this size. Mm -hmm. You pour in little tiny one ounce plastic cups. Um, and we do carry bread. There's always bread available in the shop. The people, people who don't know taste. better. <laughs> <laughs> well, sometimes people don't want that, you know, especially it's like vinegar. Some yeah, of yeah. them are pretty potent. So, um, so we provide the bread and people can come in and, you know, pour a little bit of the vin vinegar they like, pour a little bit, make a little bit of mixture with olive oil. Now you get the same people coming in like day after day, like, all right, wait a minute. Now <laughs> you've already tasted the olive oil. <laughs> Because, you know, it's a funny story. In Spain, Campo Frio, who happens to be good friends of mine, they have these uh, ta tours, you know, with tasting all their salamis and stuff like yeah. that. And they said, yeah, you know, unfortunately, we get the pa same people want the tour every day. I said, yeah, the stuff is so good. How can you stay away from it, you know? Especially with 50 products, right? That's right. You know, you're walking back and forth in the, across the shop and, uh, and just um, letting your taste buds go wild. Taste as much as you want. And, do, you, uh, do you feel that this is the perfect time for this product? I mean, the, the whole, like the last two years especially, the whole vegan movement and the, the kind of steer away from butter and going into a more healthier direction, um, it's probably the perfect time for something like this, right? Absolutely. People are looking for a high quality, healthy product and an olive oil that they can trust. Um, there's a lot of consumer mis misinformation out there of, you know, what what are we buying in those bottles? Well, that's another thing, too. I mean, yeah. you go to the store, and by the way, I'm using your infused olive oil in this. Yeah, the Tuscan? Yeah, oh, it'll, it'll yeah. soak that up right in there nicely. So smell the whole kitchen up. Yep. And then we also have some black truffles that we're going to throw in there, too. Okay. You know, it's like you, you could walk down the supermarket, right, and you grab some of these olive oils, and, you know, you take them home, you open them up, you taste them. They almost taste fake and synthetic. You know, it's got like that. Like with yours, you could taste the olive. You, 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 know, you know what I mean? Right. The freshness is important. So when, uh, when we're selling these ultra premium olive oils, we know exactly where they were harvested and when they were harvested. We're also very aware of how they were harvested, which makes right. a big difference in um, the quality of the end product. So um, you come into the store, you know exactly what you're buying, you know how long it's gonna how long it's gonna be good in your in your kitchen so now what about the whole I don't know if it's a myth but like sunlight Notice you know we got uh, dark bottles okay that's got important. it that helps yes you definitely when you're no when plastic you're, no plastic and no clear although you I, see that a lot though right you do. probably for so cost that's, that's, a, that's a big huge uh, hint that that's an olive oil you need to stay away from so you're looking for a, a light uh, impermeable uh, bottle, so either dark or sometimes you can get, um, you know, containers, uh, ceramic uh, mm. or metal containers. Mm -hmm. you know, some of them selling cans. Uh, that's a high. That's a higher quality product because you want to keep the olive oil away from light. You want to keep it away from heat. Those are the two no nos. That's it. Now, what about uh, taking olive oil? I mean, because we've done it here and it seems to be holding up great. Is there any truth to don't heat up olive oil a certain temperature. Mm, okay, a lot of people um, are concerned. What can I? How high can I cook it? Right. What is the smoke point? When is this going to burn? A good quality extra virgin olive oil has got a, got a smoke point of 410, 425. It is that high. It is that okay, high. Okay, that's pretty good. So you're going to be able to do everything yeah. except fry. Right. You know, you, you know, you can even pan fry, no problem. Right. Interesting. 
Well, look, we've got uh, a lot more to cover. We're going to get cleaned up. This food is almost ready to go coming up next. We may also eat on this show as well. <laughs> Thanks for having us again and uh, stay tuned. For more information, also be sure to check the website down below where you can order these incredible infused oils and vinegars. All right, so now we're just about, we're ready to eat. You know, we talked about a whole lot of stuff. I, I actually feel more educated. One thing I will never do is have an olive oil tasting with bread. <laughs> but besides that, uh, we definitely got an education here, but, but it doesn't stop here. Now, talk to me a little bit about this chart, right? This chart to help people understand. With 50 flavors, people come into our shop and they're, they're overwhelmed. So we've developed a uh, recommended pairing card. Um, and this card will tell you if you like a particular olive oil and a, different, a particular flavor, this pairing card will um, will tell you which vinegars you should look to for good oh, really? flavors for um, marinating and vinaigrettes and and, uh, and different combinations of cooking. Now, if you, if you have a favorite um, balsamic that you like uh, and don't know quite which flavor to pair with it from an olive oil standpoint, we've got that pairing card too. You know, one thing you did mention and we didn't talk a lot about is marinating because some people just can't get that together. Right now, is it is it because they don't have the right recipe, the right vinegars, the acids? What's the? Do you have a secret that you want to give away? <laughs> you know, it's it's time. You know, whatever you're marinating, what you're trying to do is break down the proteins in the in the in the in the product. So, so if you've got something with really tight proteins, like a piece of beef, like mm. that, look at that. Uh, if you've got uh, a really tight protein uh, beef, you want to marinate it longer. Wow. Um, if you want, if you got fish, you know, a lot of times people miss fish because mm. marinate, you know, it doesn't take long to marinate fish. You don't want to marinate for more than half, half an hour. Yeah. Uh, now that's another thing. Some people marinate for 24 hours. What's, what's the, who, who came up with that? I, you know, I think that was those that wanted to marinate in the evening and, and leave it, in, leave it in uh, overnight and then come back. And it doesn't take a half, a, a 24 hours to, to get the flavor to, to impart in the protein and the protein to start. Now, would you say that there's a difference between, um, you know, different kinds of vinegars like that sherry wine is going to infuse a, a, a red meat a little quicker than the, the fig? No, they all have the acid that you're looking for. You know, so you're looking for a little bit of the the, uh, the fat flavor coming from the oil, and uh, couple that with the with the acid that's provided by the vinegar. So you know, one of them is going to work just as well as the other. You're going to get a lot of um, of flavor and even some sweetness from some of the infused vinegars, as opposed to the sherry vinegar that's not going to impart any kind of uh, sweet. Now, how much vinegar is good to use? What's too much? Mm. Now, I use uh, about, when I do a marinade, I start with half and half. Um, and so half, half, vinegar. half oil, half vinegar. Um, and, oh, okay. And then I kind of adjust to that, um, depending on the, the taste and, and what you're marinating. But uh, a good rule of thumb for uh, any kind of marinade or, or dressing is to start half and half. You know, I think a lot of people, including me, would have thought use less oil than that, right? And that's not the key. But, yeah, but you're yeah. only saying for a half hour, so that's... Yeah, you know, I personally, my taste buds, I like a little bit more of the acidic um, flavor. Mm. So I'm going to end up putting a little bit more um, acid in the marinade, a little bit more vinegar. Um, but uh, that's that's a personal preference, and so you know, you, if you start half and half, then you can always add. Now, as far as the uh, cooking of the, of the protein, like with the with the acid, do you get involved with like doing ceviches and stuff like that? I mean, because your vinegars would be great for something like that. Yes, you well, and, and the oils too. They're good ceviches. I've done some some uh, shrimp ceviche uh, with the with the product. Shrimps? Shrimp, yes. Yeah, so scallops. I put a little bit of scallops in there. Yeah, that, that vinegar will do the, the cooking of the product. Now, gift baskets. Everybody, <laughs> I want one. No, but how does, let's say somebody wants to get involved with, with infused oils and vinegars and they say, okay, I want to get educated. 
you know, maybe I know so-and-so is a bit more of a foodie than I am. She would enjoy this. This, this is like, what do you get as far as gift basket wise? We have all kinds of gift baskets. And what do you recommend? Yeah. We have we have uh, sample packs, uh, four little sample packs. They'll cost you four this size right here. Uh, we sell those for $21 for four of them. Um, great starter gift mm. for uh, any kind of foodie, anybody from novice cook to uh, to creative professional cook. They're gonna somebody, they're gonna find a way to use those products. Uh, we also have theme baskets. Uh, we put together a pasta night where we have the Tuscan oh, that's cool. which is our favorite great pasta that goes with it. Maybe a pesto also. Put that together with a, a in a beautiful bowl and you've got just a wonderful gift for your foodie friend. Mm. So, we have Interesting. A, we have a paella pan too. No kidding. A paella pan, everything that you need to, to do the paella including your, um, your chorizo sausage. And, uh, so and that, what, that. so that comes in that kit. Yes, yes. Now that that is yeah. something that like I you know paella night Tuesday's paella night. Yes. At least in our studio it is. Right. All right. So now we basically used your products and, and everything we have here, right? So we we use the uh, infused oil. You really can smell that infused oil. It takes on a whole new level with that that pasta. Really absorbs that oil well. The Wellington there with peppermint chocolate, and we use the the fig vinegar in there as well just a touch we used the raspberry jam with the dill oil which which paired perfectly we have some vegetables and then your reduction here which is just uh, an incredible winner I mean look at that that is just art That's right there beautiful. wow All right. well so you know I think we're out of time and I just want to tell everybody check these oils out really from somebody who does this for many years of infusing his own oils which I can clearly say I'm hanging my hat up I'm hanging the herb basket up. I'm now relying on this. 50 flavors and we only, I think, showcase what? Maybe eight or 10. That's it, yeah. But I love the, the, the other flavors. Looking forward to getting more on the show. Uh, one more time, the website is infusedoilsandvinegars.com. Log on there where you can get some more information. And of course, the gift basket. Chef Michelle, all the way from Texas, coming here. In Brooklyn, right, with this traffic. Awesome. At least the weather's great. Not as hot as it would by you, though. No, no. Nice to be in New York. All right, so check out the website. Give them a try. Thank you for watching this fun-filled episode of Taste This TV. I'm your host, Chef Joseph. And remember, there are no rules in cooking. Taste this.